So this is just a quick tip tutorial. It's a question that comes up quite often. And the question is basically how to attach an object to a spline path. So I'm just going to show you very simply. So I'm just going to create a spline. Um, maybe freehand. I'm just going to draw this spline here. Uh, let's see what it looks like in 3D space. I'm just going to go to the top view. And OK, that'll work. So I'm just going to create the main object, which can be anything, but I'm going to create a cube, keep it simple. And I'm just going to minimize this a bit, 55. So it's very simple. You just go to Tags, Cinema 4D Tags, and Align to Spline. A lot of things in Cinema 4D are accomplished with tags. So I'm going to choose Align to Spline. And it's looking for a spline path. So I'm just going to drag and drop my freehand spline and instantly it attaches. So if you want to animate this, just go to the spline tag, line to spline tag, and position basically makes it animate along the path. 0 to 100, this point being 0 and the end point being 100%. If you want it to bank with the path, just turn on tangential, and now it's kind of banking along. So that's basically it. So I'm just going to delete everything, and I'm going to create two splines. And I'm just going to merge these together. Connect objects and delete, so just right click. Uh, connect objects and delete and it merges the two together. I'm going to create a cube again Make it smaller again And I'm going to add Line to spline again drag and drop this combined uh, spline into the spline path and It's animating only along the last spline. So if I just set segment to one I can basically this being zero and this is one so I can kind of switch splines going to turn on tangential and zero I move back to that first spline. If I go to two it breaks because there is no second spline, sorry third spline because uh, in arrays usually things start with zero so this is zero and then this is one. So that's a very simple introduction to align to spline. Uh, if you found it useful please share it on Twitter uh, with your colleagues, classmates, and thanks for watching.